Okay, let's take a look at the mean or expectation um, for a probability distribution. Here's our formula. Um, we got x times p of x. Uh, this little x here, that refers to values, 0, 1, 2, and 3. The p of x uh, refers to uh, the probabilities, 0 0.5, 0 0.25, 0 0.15, 0 0.10. Now we got a times here. So you take 0 times 0 0.5 is 0, 1 times 0 0.25 is 0 0.25, 2 times 0 0.15 is 0 0.3, 3 times 0 0.10 is 0 0.3. Uh, this E looking symbol, that's uppercase sigma, that then means to add this column together. So 0 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.3 plus 0 0.3 gives us 0 0.85. So uh, that would be our uh, mean or our expectation of the distribution. Okay, so let's look at how to do this in um, our studio. Or R, I should say. Okay, I want to load in the... Um, let's try it again. It's always best to do it in a script. Then you have to keep retyping commands. Um, in this, you do a file, new file, and choose our script. And... Um, if you're using just a regular R console and you're not quite sure how to do that, not, let me know. I can create a quick video on that. And I want to load max values, which are 0 through 3. And then I'll call this one P, PX. And I want to load in my 0. No, 0 0.5. Helps if I look in the right column. 0 0.25, 0 0.15, and 0 0.10. Now I need to multiply these two together. Um, I'm going to assign them uh, equal. Um, I'm going to do an assignment because I, I could just go ahead and print the result, but I want to show, show it as we build. Um, so, um, let's see. What do I want to call uh, pro product equals x times px. And I could just type prod here or do a print prod. Either one will work. And if I highlight those and run them, 0 0.25.3.3. And you notice that matches the numbers I have over here. Well, then I want to add those together. Um... Now, if I say this, the uh, mean is equal to sum product. Let's print mean and see what we get. Notice we get our 0.85, which matches the 0.85 there. Now, instead of doing it in that manner, I'm going to show you an alternative way. Even though um, those are still in PX and PX, I don't have to actually do this. I want to have a complete code example so you see both, both, both ways you can do it. And you do a print, and then sum, and then X times PX. And if I run those... You see, you get your, your same um, 0 0.85. Uh, this method up here, this first technique, is beneficial if you want to see those indiv individual values. That's especially true if you're writing a, a program and it's not working. It's not getting the right result. You want to see what's happening in each individual, individual step. But anyway, that's uh, how you find the mean or expectation of a probability distribution.